It's now time to take the concepts that we know about friction and see how they fit into our formula for friction. So the formula for friction is written as the force of friction, because friction is a force, is equal to mu, which we know is the letter that represents the coefficient of friction, times the normal force. Uh, let's specify a few different things. Mu, first of all, can have two different types. We know that there's a difference between static friction and kinetic friction, and that Greek letter mu we denote with a subscript S for static friction, and K to denote the coefficient of kinetic friction. Usually these coefficients of friction are between 0 and 1. Now I say usually, they don't have to be. But generally we're talking about a number like 0 0.35 or 0 0.78 or something like that. Could also be over 1. Also important to note that they have no units. So we cannot talk about any units when we're talking about a coefficient of friction. It is just a number like 0 0.72. So then generally in our formula, beside our mu, we'll have either static or kinetic friction, whatever we're talking about. So let's have a look quick at how this formula works. So we know we're talking about a force. The force of friction, which is the force that is acting opposite to the applied motion. Let's think about that by drawing a quick little diagram. We've got an object, we've got an applied force, and we also have a force of friction. So the force of friction is acting against the applied force. We know to complete our free body diagram we have the normal force, which is perpendicular to our surface, and the force of gravity, which is always downward. And I guess to complete this we should have a surface that this is sliding on. So the normal force is perpendicular to our surface. It's how our surface holds the object up. Well, according to this relationship, the force of friction, or the strength of this arrow pulling backwards, is equal to the coefficient of kinetic friction times the normal force. And this links back to a concept from the last video. We said the strength of friction depends on how heavy the object is or how hard you're pushing down on it. Well, the heavier an object is or the harder you push down on it, the more the table or surface has to push up on it, which means the more normal force there is. So a stronger normal force will result in a stronger force of friction. And also, of course, secondly, the force pulling backward, the strength of this force of friction is also proportional to how big that coefficient of friction is. So if we have rough surfaces, we've got a stronger force. Or if we have heavier objects, we've got a stronger force. So this formula is going to be the one that we will use to calculate the force of friction. Of course, it could have a kinetic coefficient or a static coefficient.